So, um, in the second uh, episode I'm making about this kind of rather fiendish uh, entity called anger, I'm actually looking deeply into the abyss, and the abyss is usually looking back at you. Uh, there is so much growth in anger, but then again, if you get down and quarrel every day, you're saying prayers to the devil, I say. That's Bob Marley for you. So, uh, you can't just entertain that fiendish entity and uh, let it, you know, run your life for you. There is great calamity and catastrophe in letting anger rule any relationship or mindset. It might be a good trigger, but it can't be, it can't steer the ship of your mind and be the master of your heart and soul. You have to kind of find something within you that is the real you, that is wiser than that. Whatever has begun in anger ends in, ends in shame. And that's Benjamin Franklin, and I agree. Usually when you're angry, you do stuff that you later you're not proud of. So why, why fall slave to that? Why be a victim of your own temperament and mood being triggered by others? Don't be easily swayed by their attempt to pull you down. Let us not look back in anger, nor forward in fear, but around in awareness. James Thurber. I really like this one the most. Uh, let's keep a balanced, even keel formula of dealing with this fiendish creature.